What is up guys, Headphones Neil here, back with an Android game review. So in this case it's a game that's going to also be available, for, or that is also available for iOS, but because I'm an Android user this will be the Android version. And it's a game that I played and reviewed a while ago, a little bit after it came out, but I didn't like the experience at the time, notably because of the tutorial experience and it was hard to um, navigate around. Not sure because it was on a smaller device of the time, or a um, device problem, or a game problem or a combination but I thought I'd give it another try because um, I just had an ink or a, I just wanted to play uh, the roller coaster tycoon game and see how it is and see if the uh, modern version of the game has improved since I last played it so the version of the game that I'm playing is roller coaster tycoon touch which I mentioned is available for Android and iOS and um, it does improve the original Roller Coaster at Tycoon games for the PC in a few different ways. Um, mainly to modernize it, but also keep the original elements as av available and familiar as possible. So you kind of get um, the same options that you had before. So the first thing you're going to notice when you play the game is that it does, that not only does it have modern graphics, but it has, or it's implementing the touch functionality. So for example, let's say you want to zoom in and out. All you have to do is um, pinch your fingers out to zoom in and pinch them in, out or pinch them together to uh, zoom out. Um, and if you want to rotate the park, all you have to do is um, um, rotate your fingers on your screen um, in order to rotate one way. So your right thumb is going to go top to bottom and your left thumb is going to go bottom to the top and, and the opposite way to rotate the other way around. Um, the other thing you're going to notice is that if you want to set the price, that you can now set the price for various items in your park along with an entrance fee in order to make money. So let's say you want to charge an entrance fee, you'll char touch the entrance to your park and um, you'll touch the wrong thing, but you'll touch the price tag and you can change the price of the park. So you can set it to very cheap or you can set it to very expensive basing, based on how you want to make some money. And then you can also do the same thing on various elements. So as you touch the merry-go-round, you can set a price that. For that, you can change, set the price for your food and all of that. And then from there, let's say you want to collect the money, you just touch the cash icons and you'll automatically get uh, money there. Um, the other element that is of note is that you can now interact and see what your, or you can now, the um, elements of your customers is that you can now touch to see what they're thinking and it directly affects what happens with your park. So not only does you, do you get, can you have the potential to earn heart points for that, you also know where you need to improve your park. So for example, there the park is a little bit dirty around the joystick arcade and I need to um, adjust my janitors to make sure that they're cleaning in the right spots. Um, so if you don't really pay attention to that part of it, then you do um, your guess will give you um, that bit of information. So it does say that I need to clean around my joystick arcade. Um, and so I'm just giving a quick overview of my um, park, and it says that um, it is very dirty, so I guess I do need to move my janitor somewhere, but um, I don't see that it's particularly dirty, so they might have cleaned it already and it's an outdated theme, but it's something to pay attention to. Um, spinner 3, or it needs to be cleaned around Spinner 3 as well, so um, sometimes it does require uh, rotating um, your park or your... Um, park around so that you can see what's going on and you do need to um, adjust where things are placed so that way um, things do get cleaned in a timely manner and it looks like um, and things something needs to be cleaned in this area so the one thing I don't like is that um, day and night effect so I did I haven't seen kind of where to um, or I guess I can turn the seasonal thing, um, variables on and off, but um, the time and day adjusts according to, um, I guess, the local time and day. But you do, if you do need to adjust things around to um, 
accommodate where your janitors are placed, that is something to definitely pay attention to and note because it is important that you keep your park as clean as possible so that um, you continue to get a positive rating from your guests. So I'm going to actually move this janitor all the way over to here so that... Um, and I don't know where he went, so I'm going to hit the X and I'm going to move him, try again to move him over here. But the idea is that you want to keep your park as clean as possible just so you are for the main reason that you keep your um, guests as happy as possible. And it looks like and they will tell you that um, things need to be clean. So it's important to make sure you keep your park clean. The other thing you're going to notice is that instead of various different maps and levels in order to upgrade your park, you're going to now have cards like this. So, um, as you accomplish various objectives, you'll be able to, um, gain money, cash, and cards to not only upgrade your rise, but get ca additional cash as well. So that is something to pay attention to. Um, and it looks like, uh, and as I mentioned, it looks like the fortune teller too needs to, um, a cleaning, but because I already have a janitor in the area, I don't need to worry about it. Um, and as you are, as you gain various cards, you'll be able to do things like build various roller coasters. So right now I do have a roller coaster I can build, but I'm working on a steel roller coaster, which I can't build because I haven't earned enough cards and then various other, um, Rise will be available because I, as you uh, level up, various other um, rides and features and attractions will be available. Um, based on this, I can looks like I can build a couple of um, um, various food stands, but I don't have enough cash to do that. I need four million over four million coins, which I don't have. But as I build my car park, that will be something that is available. Um, so let's say you do want to place something in your park. So let's say I want to build a, a frozen tree stand. All you have to do is touch it, touch build, and um, it will place it randomly on your map, which I didn't see where it built for it, put it. So I'm going to hit the X, but I do want to put it back here in this section. So um, if you're in the, if you have a particular area zoomed in, it will build it or put it in that area as far as I could tell. Um, and then you do need to move it around so that you can adjust where it is placed. So I'm going to put it there and I'm going to hit the check mark from here because I'm my general color scheme, which I'm working on for this area is yellow. I'm going to mark it, make it a yellow building. And then I'm going to adjust the price on it to what I want. And at the moment, I, I maxed everything out at the maximum good value. So seven coins um, per ice cream cone. And so from there, as um, customers buy from there, it'll start collecting the money. And then I collect, you just collect the money by touching the coins. And I continue to read what um, guests are reading just so I know what they're like, what they like. And I want to make sure that I keep the park as clean as possible. And then in this much time, I did get reach a customer satisfaction of uh, 70%. So I get uh, 50 stars and 20,000 coins. So I'll collect it to see what the next goal is. So it does say that I can um, earn a card by taking a photo in the photo booth. And um, it looks like I got a house painter statue. So I'm going to claim that. Um, as an achievement statue, which you can build as a free um, add-on to your park. So um, by going into your um, decoration screen, you can go to your trophies and you'll, um, you'll, you can scroll over, look for um, the, that trophy. So it looks like um, a little pro... So I, I can't place more of those, but if you look for the painter statue that you that um, was just unlocked, you should it'll pop up as a new um, painter. So it looks like a gingerbread man um, decoration. So actually, I'm just gonna stay in trophies. I may not even have enough cars for that, but um, as you um, 
So in order to accomplish, or so back to my original point of, um, let's say you, I want to accomplish this photo booth, um, gold, and I'm going to touch the camera, take a, uh, picture of it. Uh, you don't have to necessarily save it, but you can save it to your gallery and it will save that picture so you can share it in social media. So you chose, so choose. And as you can see now I ha I'm able to upgrade my information center. So I'm going to do that. I can, um, also, now build a rocky pond so what i'm gonna do is um and i've opened a claim uh, card pack so um i can adjust two buildings and adjust those colors um there as well so if i so choose so um let's see i'm gonna change that one i changed one and i'm gonna change this other one to red so um i can continue to um, gain cards and um, upgrade things as well. So I'm going to jump into, uh, if you jump into your builder, you can um, upgrade things as well. So in um, the themed, I can build a rocky pond and I have enough cards to upgrade it. So I am going to build one as well. Um, and you need to make sure you have enough room to place it as well. So... I'm going to see if I have enough room in my in my roller coaster area so I'm going to do that and it, just to make the ride that much more interesting and then I am also going to look for uh trophies I guess I don't have that or it's in the foliage probably um so I'm going to go over and I can build a Atari trophy and upgrade as well so it has more visibility and I have the cash to build it, so I'm going to actually just stick it there for now because I have the room. And that's pretty much the bulk of the game. The thing to remember is that you, can, as you get cards and you can upgrade things, um, you get a boat bonus for decoration and also a range, so it's for um, visible for in more places. Um, the and then of course the most important thing to um, in the game is the roller coaster. So building a roller coaster is actually updated a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete the track and I'm going to um, start it over. So what you need to do in order to build the track now is um, drag the track from where it is now and to the general direction that you want to build it. And you're going to now see nodes um, in order to um, make adjustments to the ride. So what I'm going to do here is add a special. And as as you um, um, add various elements to the track, you're going to see that the length of the track also um, adjusts. So you want to make sure that you're within the length of the track. So now that I've added some nodes, I'm going to move stuff around so that um, it becomes shorter and longer as I so need. So for example, I, right now my track is too long, so I need to um, shorten it up a little bit. So um, you do get the guide on the bottom of, of the screen in order to keep track of how long your um, track is. So um, by selecting the nodes and moving, using the guide arrows to, um, adjust the length of the track, the idea is to make sure that your, um, ride is as, fits within the parameters, but is as entertaining as possible. So, um, by adjusting the ride, oh, I made the track too long again, I'm going to do that so now that I have a new ride we're going to test it and see what the excitement level is and as the ride starts you'll see that it gives you um, a, an excitement meter and you can see the um, track the track go around the um, around your uh, you see a cart go around the track so the idea here is so that you can see exactly what your track is going to do make sure it's something that um, is enjoyable for um, guests and is not too scary. And from here, I've now that you've I've done that. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to so I'm still gonna edit the track, and you can do things like you saw um, as make the right track go up and down. But you can also touch various nodes. So let's say you want the 
um, um, track to um, in go to the side like that. You want um, various directions to tra um, change. So let's say I want to um, have the car twist a little bit. Um, you can do that. So that way, as you touch it, um, oh, and it'll tell you as you're um, as you're making the adjustments to the um, track that. Um, as the height is too high, your track is too long, um, and various things like that, that your adjustments are made accordingly. So once you've made those changes, you do need to, uh, revalidate it. You don't have to, uh, watch the whole thing, but once you're done, you can now see exactly what your, um, roller coaster is going to do. But that's really the bulk of the game. Um, overall, it is a, a vast improvement over what I've played before. Um, I do, did like that I can skip the tutorial. It does bring you various tutorial po points for new things that are doing that um, show up in your park so that you know that they're there. Um, but once you get through that, it is um, vastly improved over my memory of it from before. Um, so I do recommend it. It is free for um, Android and iOS with the ability to um do to um build as you want upgrade as you want and the thing to remember is to continuously um upgrade various elements to your park so that you can um get more stuff and upgrade your park and continue to expand as you play so as i mentioned the upgrading or for me upgrading is the biggest thing and making sure that you uh, follow your customers' um, thought bubbles is the, all, is the other thing to make sure you continue to do as well. So that's really the bulk of that. So if you have any questions, comments, or anything like that, you can always comment on the video below in the vi comments below, or you can find me on uh, Twitter at PatelN01. Um, but that is all there is for that. Thanks for watching and uh, listening and until next time. And of course, if you want to subscribe to the audio, you can always and get this in your podcast client of choice. Be sure to visit the website at PatelN01.com. But thanks, as I mentioned, thanks for tuning in and listening and until next time.